You know, it's mind blowing to me. You have all of these migrants that come to this country. They fight to get to this country. Once they get here, now they're protesters. They want rights for women. They want rights for transgender. They claim everybody's equal. They want open borders. And they're welcoming all of these illegal immigrants. Anything that they never did in their country, they come to America and do it. There's an immigrant here, an African dude, been here for 14 years, and now he's running for a political office. Now, all of a sudden, he wants to help black people. Everybody uses black people as a guinea pig. If, if you want to rise up in society, go into the black community and just pretend like you want to help them. Do a couple of good deeds to gain their trust and favor. And then you run for a political office and black people will vote for you. Now, I hear a lot of people talk about Mitch McConnell and reparations, and they're falling right into the demon crap's hand. The demon craps told you that you're not getting any reparations. Then they started fighting for reparations. They actually put it on the table and they approved it because they knew it wasn't going any further than them. So they put it on the table and the Republicans shot it down. So now black people are attacking Mitch McConnell playing right into the hands of the demon craps, saying that they're racist and talking about how they deserve you know, to get reparations and they forget about history and all this nonsense. Now, when it comes to reparations, we're not gonna get it. But I can understand where black people or so-called black people in America deserve some type of compensation um, for what happened to our ancestors. I was gonna write a book titled Living the Results of Yesterday Today. Black people don't know their names, they don't know their language, they don't know their nationality, they don't know their culture. I'm talking about original culture. They only identify as black and now African-American and they have no connections to Africa. And even if they did have family in Africa, they have no idea who they are. So yeah, there has been a lot of damage done to the so-called black Americans. So when it comes to reparations, I think that if they're gonna pay a monetary reparation, it should be for people that were born, say like 1975 and before. When it comes to those uh, millennials, free education, tax breaks, just like the Native Americans receive, other little perks and benefits that will help benefit them in life because they never really had to go through anything. Black people are, are the only ones that get, can get slaughtered in the street by police and police walks because nobody really cares about black Americans because technically they're still on the books as three fifths of a person. They're not even considered a total human. Yes, they tell you one thing, but actions speak louder than words. But the demon craps told you that you weren't getting any reparations. So what they did was they put it on the table for political reasons, because when the Republicans shoot it down, then they can say, see, I told you they're racist. They're racist, but yet the demon craps already told you, Cory Booker told you, you ain't getting no reparations, you know? Um, Mitch McConnell said, you know, we gave you Barack Obama. And think about it, Barack Obama was in office for two terms and he did nothing for black people. He did everything for the transgenders and the gay community, but nothing for black people. So it's easy for people to come here and play on the emotions of black people and get into political office. So now you have these immigrants that's coming here and they're protesting you take, for example, Ilhan Omar. She's always tweeting stuff in the internet. And when you find people like that, I, I view that as someone that's also playing into that 
um, that plot or agenda to cause America to fall because you didn't hear about her. And I'm sure in the country she came from in the Middle East, she wouldn't be out there. She wouldn't, she would not be that outspoken. And how are you going to get there and protest for gays? And you're a Muslim. And you know what the Quran and Hadith says. But yet you're going to protest for Muslims. And you have a lot of immigrants come here, set up in the black community, and sell you pork, sell you alcohol, sell you tobacco. But yet they themselves don't delve into that. They don't touch it. And they would tell you straight up, because I walked into a convenience store one time, or, or one of these Arab stores, because I don't really support them. But I had asked this Arab, I said, um, he was selling some pork chops, some greens with some ham hock in it. And I said, do you eat that? I said, you eat pork chops? Oh, no, no, no. I'm Muslim. I'm a Muslim, bro. I don't eat that, brother. He called me brother. I don't eat that, brother. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. I said, but you're selling that to the community, here, Right? This is what they want. So you have foreigners that come here, move into the black community, sell you what you want or what you think you want, and then go back, back into their neighborhoods, and you're wondering why black people can't rise as far as they spit. Right? And it's just sad, man. And it's sad because black people fall right into the trap every single time. Now... The Breakfast Club gave Mitch McConnell donkey of the day regarding reparations. But yet, Cory Booker and what's that black female name where she, she, she's not really black, but she says she's black. They had them on the Breakfast Club and they straight up told you not get no reparations. But they didn't get donkey of the day. But yet anything that it appears that the Republicans reject when it comes to like reparations or things like that, now they want to point fingers and say, this is why you should vote for us. But yet they've done nothing for black people. Think of all the times that the Democrats or the demon craps was in office. What did they do for black people? Are black people better off now that they had a, a, a Democrat or a demon crap president, a black president at that, so-called black president. Are black people in a better position than they were before Barack Obama or worse? I say worse. I say it's a lot worse now, right? So it is so easy. And one other thing before I end this video. This whole ordeal with China and the United States. Now, I think these are testing times or trying times for Trump to see what he's really made out of. Because it's easy to tell North Korea that I have a bigger button. But when it comes time to have to make the decision to push that button, do you have what it takes to push that button? Now, they shot Iran shot, the Iranian shot a drone out of the air. You have Russian ships that's on the verge of colliding with the American Navy ships. Russians have been buzzing the U.S. planes. This is back when Obama was in office, too. The Russians were spotted outside of California, so many, loud, uh, so many miles outside of California, with three fighter jets, and they were loaded. When the U.S. Uh, planes came and escorted them out, they kind of split up and went different directions. The United States didn't do nothing. So now you have the world sitting back watching. America has become extremely soft, man. With all, and I think it has a lot to do with the, the demasculization of men. Maybe I said that word wrong, but all of these transgenders and gay people, this, word, this country has become soft. Now the world is sitting back watching. And you have these, these, um, these sleeping cells, the sleeping terror cells that's now in political positions that's fighting for causes that they would never fight for in their own country, open borders. 
I don't think there's any country that have open borders where anybody can just fly to a certain spot and just walk right in. The Americans will like detain you, give you a court date and release you. Release you right out. And then they're talking about giving these illegal immigrants a license to drive. And maybe I'm thinking too much of a military mind. So you give them a license to use a vehicle or potentially use a vehicle for a terror attack. Car bombs. They think that if they put themselves in a position where they would die in the cause of Allah, they would enter into paradise with so many versions, right? So you're giving them a license, illegal immigrants that you don't even know, the license to drive an automobile, gas powered automobiles, that they can just plow into people. They can plow into a school uh, playground. They can turn into a bomb and you're giving them license to drive and you know nothing about them. What does the word illegal say to you? When you hear illegal, what does that actually say to you? But you have Americans that's fighting against Trump for wanting to seal up the border to keep illegal immigrants from coming in. And they have no idea who these immigrants are have no idea who they are and the taxpayers dollars are paying for them now it's interesting and this is going back to black americans and i know i'm skipping around you have black americans that's fighting for illegal immigrants and their children oh they're doing this to the children oh he's cruel he's separating the families from the border but yet the black family is separated most of black homes are run by single parent mothers. And the children are out of control. Your sons are in the street, gang banging, drug dealing, being killed. Your daughters are ended up pregnant, right? In strip clubs. And you're talking about families being separated at the border, being supported by your tax dollars, now wait, let me get this straight. So they're spending billions of dollars on illegal immigrants. They're fighting for illegal immigrants to have health care, lodging, food, clothing, and then to deport them, the United States is gonna have to fund some money to ship them out, to ship them out. But yet, it's too expensive to give so-called black people reparations. So the illegal immigrants are getting the so-called reparations that black people should be getting because that's a waste of dollars. You're giving them free health care, you're giving them license to drive, but when it comes to black Americans, you don't get no reparations. But yet, you're supporting people that shouldn't even be here. You refuse to seal up the border to keep them out. And you have people like Ilhan Omar that's vouching for illegal immigrants. The demon craps are vouching and protecting illegal immigrants. And black Americans are being gunned down in the street by police, being beat down by police. And the police walks. Help me to make sense of that. And black people support illegal immigration. Although they're telling you, you're not getting reparations. We're gonna take your tax dollars and support these people that broke into the country, that stole their way into the country. And black people support that. Help me to make sense of that. And you're still voting demon crafts. Joe Biden is one of the most racist people and black people. Now, it's interesting. I'm going to end this video. 
it's interesting how black people, Trump haters, demon craps, demonize President Trump for a recorded message before he became president that was in the privacy of a bus. Somebody recorded it. They called him a pervert. They called him all kind of names, saying that he didn't respect women and women shouldn't vote for him. But yet, not only do Joe Biden have a history of being a pervert and a pedophile, sniffing little girls' hair, sniffing women's hair, feeling on them, giving them massages in their shoulders, and he's still doing it openly. And I read some posts the other day that black people, these black females, had to ask, is Joe Biden a good person to vote for? So you mean to tell me you have to really think about that? So you willing to vote for, for Joe Biden? And he said that they're going to send you all back enslaved. This is where his mindset is. They're going to put you all back in chains. They're going to bring back Jim Crow. Fear tactics. To get the votes of black Americans. And guess what? Black people will vote for him. It's really sad. It's a really sad state that black people, they don't even realize that they're being destroyed and they're supporting a party that's destroying this nation along with you. Along with you. Ilhan Omar, just because her skin is brown don't mean that she's your family or she's on your side. They're putting that cheese out there, that mousetrap cheese, and you guys are falling for it. And she get up there and she's always tweeting about what need to be changed and these rights and this and that and the other. And I'm sitting there looking like, well, why didn't you fight that hard in your own country? Why did you run from your country to come here to protest the laws here that were here before you even came here? So now you want to change laws in America to be the way it was where you ran from. Go back to your own nation and fight for rights there. Don't come here and try to change the way we live. They protest against gun laws and you got people where they came from armed saying Allahu Akbar. Make sense of that. So I didn't mean this video to be this long. This is the first video I've done on my phone. I'm testing it out. Feedback. Tell me what you think. Until next time. I'm fearless.